Hello. I'm probably riding my bike. Today I'm out on a ride with the bike that made me fall in love with riding bikes again. My Velo Orange Polyvalent. I've always enjoyed riding bikes and I used to commute and explore around when I lived in London. But this is the one that made me enjoy it just as much as I did when I was a young boy. Going exploring with my, my twin brother on bicycle escapades. Gives me the same sense of freedom and adventure that I used to have back then. Taking the train with my bike this morning to get to my coffee more quickly. I was joined on the train by this elderly gentleman with his mini velo. He wanted me to explain the complexities of the United Kingdom and all the countries within it, which is hard enough in English, let alone in Korean. Okay, back to talking about the bike. It's an amazing all-rounder. I think it lives up to its name, polyvalent. It's good for commuting, picking up groceries, gravel riding, and some fully loaded touring adventures as well. It's also the first bike that I've built up myself, which is something I'd always wanted to do. Hours of YouTube tutorials and quite a few mistakes along the way, but it's really satisfying to ride a bike that I'd assembled myself. I learnt a lot. More about the build later, but let's stop for coffee first. This is Manufact Coffee Roasters. I think one of the original specialty coffees in Seoul. It's been around for about 11 years. I like that they open at 9am, which strangely is very early for a cafe to open in Seoul. A really good flat white and they've got this crazy cold brew system going on as well. Definitely a place to visit if you're in this neighbourhood. Of course, my bike's never far away and we're not travelling far. Now we're just parking around the corner. Always lock your bike to check out this Sadoga shopping centre. Lots of imported stuff, kind of an expensive supermarket and a few bits for later on. It's back on the bike. So I was talking about I built this bike myself. Sometimes when I'm going on a fully loaded descent, I'm thinking to myself, I, please don't disintegrate beneath me. I've got a lot of trust in my hands to build this solidly. I bought the frame directly from Velo Orange because back then there wasn't any way you could buy this kind of frame in Seoul that I knew of. Picked up quite a few parts on sales around the place and finished building it at the end of 2019. It was quite fortunate that I finished building it just before the pandemic bike boom. And I was very incredibly lucky to have this bike during COVID. It really saved me through that time. I'll be talking about how it saved my mental health a little later in the video, but first let's have a proper bike check for this wonderful and beautiful bike. Here's a proper look at the bike. It's the fourth generation Velo Orange Polyvalent. This is a 54 centimetre frame, threaded quill stem with disc brakes and quick release wheels, which is quite fun. I really love the colour. It's one of the main reasons I bought it. Also, I'd seen Velo Orange racks and things and I just thought it was a cool company. So that's why I was attracted to the bike. It has low trail geometry, so it's almost encouraged to have a load at the front. It feels much better with some bags up there. I've had quite a few iterations of this bike with different bars and stems and other parts and fenders and everything and racks. And this is back to the original that I had before. Here's the cockpit, it's Velo Orange granola bars, really nice and wide with the Velo Orange faceplate quill stem. Some nice purple RE grips and XT thumb shifters, 11 speed. The whole group set's Shimano XT, so the brakes are hydraulic discs. The first disc brakes I've had, really insanely powerful and bitey. They're probably more suited to a proper mountain bike, but they're good. This is the first proper bike bag that I bought. It's an RAL tote bag that fits in the wild basket. The roll top style is quite nice because you can squeeze quite a lot in there when you need to. Nitto M1 Marks rack. Hasn't failed on me yet. And a single Nissan cable because the others are hydraulic. Hunt 650B Adventure Wheel Set. And Ultra Dynamico Rose with inner tubes and a nice bottle from a local bike shop, Bike Makes Me Happy. They have some really cool high-end bikes. Continuing with the Shimano group set, we got the XT drivetrain with a wolf tooth chainring because I found the original one too spinny, so I upped a couple of teeth size to 36. 
feels much better. And a really big wide range cassette. 11 to 46 teeth. You can basically climb a wall with it. Of course I have MKS pedals. These are the Lambdas. I love the bossage and how they've worn down. You can see some of the silver through the black paint. Still running as smooth as ever after four years. American classic seat post. This actually came with the Romulus. And a Blue Lug special WTB saddle. Can't remember the model name, but just like how sleek and clean and black it looks. Quite comfortable for shorter rides, not for long tours. This was my only bike for a couple of years, and in 2021 I rode about 8,000 kilometres, which is the distance from Seoul to London. I definitely don't cycle as much as that nowadays, but back then, with all the restrictions, it was the only way I felt any freedom or control in my life. Korea was a lot better off than other places, and I was grateful to have my health and a healthy family, secure employment, but it was a still a hard time for my mental health. I found being away from home really hard and not being able to travel there easily was difficult and the lack of freedom was quite a struggle. My job thrives on face-to-face -face interaction and collaboration too. Moving online was a real challenge because I lost the favourite part of my work and living through a screen was draining. As soon as I finished for the day I was on my bike to clear my head. It was a chance for me to take control of one part of my life whether how far I wanted to ride or which direction I wanted to go in. I always felt a lot better afterwards. Time to take a little lunch break. I ate yukkejang in my other video, but this is yukka, so it's yukkejang with kalguksu, cut noodles. You can get small noodles with rice or large noodles. I went for the one with rice, because you got to end like this. And of course, clean bowl club the place to be you should join and as you know my bike's never far away just waiting for me outside what a beauty just cycling around the corner to a cafe that was also in another video travertine but it's much quieter this time and i could get some nice footage and this dog was super cute as you can probably tell from my ramblings i'm not a mental health professional but I've just been talking about my experience of how bikes helped me. Life now in 2024 is much better and I'm still riding bikes to keep my mental health in check. It's not magically going to solve all your problems, but it's a good time to reflect and work out what things you can change and what you're in control of. And how could someone not be happier with a commute like this? My ride to work in the morning properly sets me up for the day. And it's always a nice ride home, especially in the spring when the weather's getting like this and I can start resting at my favourite place again. Now coming up in the video is one of the best trips that I've had on this bike down in Jolodo in the southwest of Korea. Maybe you can play Spot the Difference with all the parts of my bike. Enjoy! If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. See you later.